In this video, we're going to be sharing some reasons why your children might not be obeying you the first time you speak. Many of us have encountered these issues on our parenting journey, where we have to tell our children to do stuff over and over again before they get to doing it. Sometimes we might even have to yank them off from what they are doing, forcefully tell them to go do what it is that they are meant to be doing. Or sometimes we even resort to yelling. So now we're going to be sharing some reasons, possible reasons. So it might not necessarily be it, but there's a possibility that these might be the reason. So I would like to lay a bit of foundation. Firstly, I would like us to realize and understand that our children are little humans. They are human beings also. So what we need is a huge dose of empathy be able to see through their eyes, hear through their ears, and feel with their heart. Come down to their level and understand what they're going through as humans. And as humans, they also have feelings. So the first thing on our list is, you just might have conditioned them to not listen. If every time you need to tell them to do something or you need them to obey, you have to yell, then your child is possibly not taking you serious when you're speaking calmly. I say when it's serious, you're gonna yell. So they will remain doing what it is that they're doing, believing that they could milk more time from you or keep doing what they're doing until you yell. When you yell, then you just might be serious. They've been programmed. So now to reprogram them, the solution to this is you want to begin to speak calmly. In play, when you're serious, just speak calmly. It should become your normal way of life rather than resulting to yelling. And when you're getting on that verge where you want to yell, meaning that you said it over and over and they are not listening, they really will not listen because they have been conditioned not to listen. You want to walk up to your child. Ensure that you touch your child possibly make eye contact with your child. When you can see your child eyeball to eyeball, then say what it is you want to say to your child, letting your child know that you're serious about it. If your child is still not listening or want to keep probably looking at the screen or going back to playing the game that the child is playing, you're gonna say, we're gonna pause this for a minute so I can get your attention. When you do that, at this point, your child is actually going to know that you're very, very serious. So you say what it is that you want to say, and then you move on. Other points will help buttress this point. Second point, you want to help them obey. Help them obey you. The end result is for them to obey. So why not give them a little bit of push towards it? Now, from the example of where you want to transition from yelling, You've walked up to your child. Remember, you're not going to be shouting the instruction from far away. You want to come closer to your child, making eye contact. Now, help them to move on to what it is you want them to do. After giving the instruction of what you want them to do, and you've walked away, giving them time to obey, you want to come back and say, oh, I know you really love if it's playing a game, if it's watching TV, whatever it is that they are doing at that moment that they are sunken into. You want to say, I know you enjoy doing this. I'm going to give you five more minutes so that you go ahead to do what it is that I want you to do. These two things you can combine after you've moved close to the child and you've told the child what you want the child to do. You will now tell the child, I'm giving you five more minutes or I'm giving you 10 more minutes so that you can move on from what you're doing now to what it is I have just instructed you to do. So that gives your child enough time to enjoy what they're enjoying with the hope in mind that they are to move on to something else. So within that 10 minutes gap that you've given the child to transition, you want to inform the child in five minutes. You have five more minutes on the screen. So that's a countdown. The child knows that, oh, I'm supposed to go do something else in a bit. The third point, your priority is really not their priority. What they want to do at that point in time is to just relax or to just have fun 
and you're bringing up a chore, you're bringing up something else that is going to be draining to them, they don't want to do it. And it's priority to you, not priority to the child. So they would rather not obey. They would prefer to sit back and keep doing what it is that they're doing instead of transitioning to doing what it is that you want them to do. Now for this scenario, we're going to be combining what we have done for the first point, the second point, and we'll just add a little bit of spice to this point. Now you have come to your child, you've connected with your child, possibly post what it is that they are doing so that they could pay attention to you. They have listened, now you've given them time, right? You have 10 more minutes to transition to do what it is that I want you to do. But at the beginning of that speech, you want to recognize what they are doing. You say, oh, you are playing um, this video game or oh, you're writing a report. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're reading a book. Now you want to complement what they are doing. Whatever it is, find the good in what they are doing. This tells the child, you see me, you feel me, you are on my side. So you want to find that bonding point with that child. Recognize what they are doing. Give a little bit of compliment to it. Spend some few seconds speaking about what they have done. Then it's time to connect. Then you give the time breakdown. You just change their priority to make what you want them to do part of their priority. So we're going to stop here in this video. You want to watch out for part two. Thanks a lot for listening in. If you love this video, kindly give this video a big fat thumbs up for me and subscribe if you've not done so already. I'm going to be seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.